Okay guys, let's go ahead and continue with our guide videos. So for this one, we are going to be looking at how to do box blocks. It's another um, graphic that we can produce for numerical data. All right, so here we go. Let's just go ahead and copy our data. So this one is the years high in school. And we also have a piece of categorical data here of the sex of being men and women. So we're gonna go ahead and copy this. Come on over and let's go ahead and import our data. I'm just going to bring it from the clipboard and let's see if we get it in okay and we do so we've got the highest year of school and their gender and now what we need to do is we need to uh, see can we match these pictures uh, to one of the ones that we're going to produce all right so let's go ahead and go to graphs we can come all the way down here and click box block. Now we could go ahead and click like options and we could add like an extra title. I'm just going to put this as, um, oh, we'll do years in school. And I'll click okay. Now after we go ahead and click this one, give me a second, it might take me a moment to track it down. Yeah, there we go. It has put both men and women together in the same one. Now, if you notice, like this program has laid them uh, horizontally, and this one has running them vertically. But there's no difference really between uh, between th these two. All right, so let's go ahead and take a second. Let's now split out men and women. Okay, so here's what we can do when we go to our graphs. And go to our box plot and there's this button that says plot by groups and we can do by sex and click OK and now when I click OK here now check this out it has men and women broken up by sex uh, and now we can kind of compare the two okay now we're gonna to have to do a few things when we like compare these over the first thing let's just look at the minimum we notice that how everybody is at eight so this first one starts at zero, so we know we've got a problem there. This one starts at zero, and so we know that we're dealing with one of these two middle ones. Okay, so here we have that the women were at eight, and then we're at ten. And if we look here, the women go from eight, and they go from ten. So that looks good. Men go from eight to ten, and those all look good. Okay, the next one is like, okay, let's look. The men in this one had a median of eleven. If we look in here, the men had a median of 12. So we can see that I needed to choose this guy uh, right here. So that we can say that, yep, this is the correct uh, display of the box plots with respect to men and women uh, as we compared them as it came from our data. All right, so coming on down. So now that I've got this guy and I've got my five number summary. Now, another way that we could have done this is instead of just looking at, at the actual graphics, uh, what if we just instead went to our basic statistics, if we took a frequency table and said, okay, we could look at the frequency table and try to figure out some of this, or probably easier still, we could look at the numerical summaries by gender and click okay. And here we could have just tracked that out. We see that the men and the women are 12, and we could we'd match up these five number summaries kind of right on each other. All right. So using that, we can uh, go ahead and now pull on down, and it says, okay, which of these guys have the larger IQR? Once again, we could have done this uh, by looking at these guys, and we'd say, hey, the men have the larger IQR, this inter quartile range and so we would say that the men have a larger inner quartile range and then the larger total range this is an interesting one uh, it actually looks like if we look at the maximums and the minimums uh, that they are equal so we'll go ahead and click on that guy um, so if we look at then this question we've got one more it says 75 percent of men have at least how many years of schooling now what everybody wants to do is they want to go and look at, oh, 75%, 75%, we've got the, our numbers right here. But this is 75% of men have no more than 13 years of schooling. 
Ah, okay, so if we want to go 75% have at least, we'd want to go from the top and go until we have 25 left to go. And this is 75% have at least this many years. They might have more. 75% of men have at least 10 years of schooling. And we can go ahead and click Submit. And we nailed it. So just like that, we can use our summaries, specifically of our box plots and like our five number summaries, uh, to do these interpretations.